This is Dr. Jazz Rowe, Chief of Sports Medicine at NYU Langone Health, presenting our technique of adipose-derived stem cell transplant for the treatment of knee osteoarthritis and ankle osteoarthritis. The case is a 64-year-old male with left knee medial compartment OA and right ankle tibial tailor OA. He status post appeal on fracture about 19 years prior with uh, open reduction and internal fixation. His symptoms have been refractory to physical therapy and corticosteroid injections. And essentially, we've indicating him for adipose stem cells or adipose MSCs to be done in the ambulatory surgery center. We've selected adipose tissue due to the uh, abundance of potential mesenchymal cells in this patient as he's nearing age 65 where the amount of uh, stem cells located in his bone marrow are, are decreased. We've also chosen this treatment over PRP uh, or platelet-rich plasma uh, based on the potential better effectiveness of this treatment and the stronger power uh, of the cells uh, being utilized for the injection. X-rays confirm advanced tibiotalar arthritis, post-traumatic. Knee x-rays also confirm medial compartment OA. Ankle imaging, sagittal, confirms advanced tibiotalar arthrosis. The patient is placed supine, and after appropriate uh, prep and draping, a small stab incision is made first in the uh, abdominal flank on the left side, and uh, a long needle is inserted. Uh, this is a 17-gauge uh, needle with a cannula, and the tumescent solution, which is uh, provided by our pharmacy, contains 25 mils of 2% lidocaine and 0.5 mils of epinephrine in a 1 to 1,000 concentration. These are put in 250 millimeter bags of normal saline. The solution is injected subcutaneously using the 17-gauge needle. 60 millimeters of solution are injected above and below the, the umbilicus, and gentle agitation technique is applied to the belly uh, while the emulsification takes place. Liposuction of the abdominal fat is performed using brisk, broad strokes with a total of 80 to 120 mils of aspirate being obtained depending on the body's habitus. As can be seen here, we go above and below the umbilicus doing this agitation technique while having the lure lock uh, pulled back so pressure is then utilized to bring the uh, fat into the syringe. The fat is then transferred for processing. And as we continue to gain more fat with, with each additional uh, pass of the 17 gauge needle. Further processing, it, processing is performed as the fat is transferred into the agitation device. We then transfer the fat to this agitation device that will then separate the fat from the adipose cells. The agitation process uh, separates the fat from the uh, mesenchymal stem cells, as can be seen here. The clamping, unclamping allows waste material to be separated from the, the mesenchymal stem cell population. Again, further agitation is performed, and the stem cells are then harvested. The knee is injected, as can be seen here, with 10 cc's, and the ankle using fluor fluoroscopic confirmation is then injected with the adipose cells, both having 10 cc's injected.